Well, as I was saying, they expect a turnaround time to dispatch one of our decks. Is four decks. No, now you are cutting me. Oh, we would never cut your servicer without your authorization. I mean your voice cutting. Ah, you mean I'm cutting out. Of course, you're cutting out. Sorry, Dennis. I seem to be getting some major feedback here. Good. Could you please give me some feedback? Thanks. Hello, everybody. Did you enjoy the first part of that clip? Do you need more English so that you can feel comfortable talking on the phone? If that's you, then watch this lesson. I'm on the phone all the time. On the line is bad, you're cutting out. The line is bad, you're breaking up. Can you repeat that? Come again. I can't hear you, could you speak up? I'm on the phone all the time. On the I don't understand, I don't follow. Please wait, please hold on. It's very noisy, I'm getting a lot of background noise I need to take a pen, I'm gonna grab a pen Cause we're on the phone all the time On the hear a strange sound, I'm getting feedback Can you say that for me? Can you spell that for me? I'm waiting for your call, I look forward to your call Cause I'm on the phone all the time on the the first one when you're talking on the telephone sometimes this can happen well as i was saying the expected turnaround time to dispatch one of our texts is only four texts. and in general you could say the line is bad that would work and more specifically you could say that you're cutting out or you're breaking up they mean the same thing both of those are really good phrasal verbs to describe when the connection is not consistent or is bad. Now you're going to think, well, breaking up, isn't that like breaking up with your girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever? Not exactly. It also means when the line is not very good, the quality. Hey, everybody, please give this video a like if you're enjoying it. And if you're new to my channel, you are always free to subscribe. The next one, and make sure you stay till the end for the final golden vocabulary tip for talking on the phone, is can you repeat? Now, you could say that, can you repeat that? Or can you repeat? It sounds a little mechanical and maybe a little overused. So I recommend saying, come again, sorry, how's that? Now, many times when we're talking to people, especially on the computer or when somebody is on a speaker phone, they're speaking very softly. You can barely hear them. How can I help you today? No, please speak higher. Like that? No, not that higher. Can you please increase the volume? And a great phrasal verb to use is to say, could you please speak up? This means, could you speak louder? Or could you turn up your volume? Another good one is please wait. You could say that, but a common one to use when you're talking over the phone is please hold on or just hold on, please. Sometimes when we're talking to people, we can hear a lot of what is going on in the background. Instead of saying, I hear a lot of noise, that's a little direct. You can say it a little bit more politely. I hear a lot of background noise. Now I've heard a lot of people say, I'm getting a strange sound. Of course, you're cutting out. Sorry, Dennis. I seem to be getting some major feedback here. Something like that. That's a specific sound. That's when there's echo. And you could say, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Or you hear your voice and it's echoing back to you. Another one that often people miss is when they want to actually write out something. And they'll just say, can you say that for me? Can you say that name for me again? Jason Gray? No. Can you please say the name? Jason Gray? No. Can you please say A, B, C? But saying is one thing. Spelling is another. So 
You should say, can you spell that out? And I'm waiting for your call. A nice way of saying that, a polite way would be, I look forward to your call. Okay, so now we're going to listen to the full dialogue. Technical support, this is Jerry speaking. Can I start by getting your four-digit secret PIN number? 9396. Yes, that is correct. May I ask who I'm speaking with? Dennis. Greg Dennison, how can I help you today? I'm having problems with my internet. Can you fix it? Okay, and what exactly seems to be the problem? No, I'm sorry, your voice is very low. My voice? Well, a lot of people say my voice is bassy, but how can I help you today? No, please speak higher. Like that? No, not that higher. Can you please increase the volume? Ah, you want me to speak up? Of course, of course. Could you please speak up? As I was saying, my internet connection is very slow. Can you please fix it? Well, our current turnaround time to dispatch one of our technicians is currently four days. Turnaround time like a clock? What? Oh, well, I'm sorry. You want me to speak up? No, not that what. I mean, I don't understand. Ah, you don't follow what I'm saying. Of course, of course. I don't follow you. Well, as I was saying, the expected turnaround time to dispatch one of our techs is only four minutes. No, now you are cutting me. Oh, we would never cut your service here without your authorization. I mean your voice cutting. Ah, you mean I'm cutting out. Of course, you're cutting out. Sorry, Dennis. I seem to be getting some major feedback here. Good. Could you please give me some feedback? Back, 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 back. No, Dennis. What I mean is that I can hear a lot of echo. Oh, sorry. I had it on speakerphone. <sighs> yeah, that's okay now. So, as I was saying before, we're going to send out a technician in four days. And I need you to write down the technician's name. His name is Jason Gray. Can you say that name for me again? Jason Gray? No. Can you please say the name? Jason Gray? No. Can you please say A, B, C? Ah, you want me to spell it out? Of course. Can you please spell out his name? Sure, no problem. That's J-A-S-O-N, last name, G-R-A-Y. So that's J-A-S-O-N-G-R-A-Y. That's right. And he should be coming on Tuesday between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And is there anything else I can help you with today, Dennis? No, that's everything. Well, then you have yourself a great day there, Dennis. And thank you for calling Tech Support. Thank you and bye. Okay, everybody, I will try to include a quiz for this to help you remember some of this vocabulary for this English speaking lesson. And if you would like to watch more videos on English speaking practice, then you can do that here. You can also subscribe to my channel here. Follow me on my social networks. I do give one-to-one -one lessons and we will see you in our next lesson. Bye everybody.